Lovely. Very nice. My property! My traps! How did you get out? Wait! How did you get in? You wretch! What have you done to you through my throne room? Guards! Apprehend that thief! Deftly and darkly, the grubs descended upon our trembling hero. But locked within each of them was the soul of a child just as scared as him. You sc That's it! Very heroic. Even I am strong enough to yank these grubs' heads off. Once the evil's been purged. So if you're running low on heads, just say the word, and I might consider helping. I'll pop your head clean off your shoulders! Get caught, and you'll no! be gratified. I want just that like the rest of these poor children. Head. It was a weaver. Of all the Moonbear King's nightmarish magical creations, weavers were some of the nastiest. This was Kutaro's first ever real dose of fear. But to escape the Weaver, those fears would need to be conquered. As the clash grew even clashier, the boy snipped, sliced and sundered with the cold realization his life counted on it. Success! The Fell Weaver was no more. With the legendary Calibrus firmly in hand, Kutaro had taken the first step of his grand adventure. Unfortunately, the next steps had to be taken as a run, as the Savage King was hot on our heroes. Tiger! Y yes, sir. Where did that wealth go? Uh, well, he can't have gotten far, sire. He has such tiny legs. I imagine he's right around the corner. I don't want him around the corner. I want him cornered! Find that thief, or I'll find someone who can! Please, sire, your blood pressure. I'll take care of it. Would you like a back rub? A glass of warm milk? Anything? No? Bravo, Kutaro. None of the others ever made it half as far. This will be music to the witch's ears. Oh, man up, would you please? Would you prefer the grubs find you and the Mule Bear King yanks your limbs off? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Kutaro had obtained Calibrus, a legend repair of magic scissors. But before he could start cutting along the dotted line of death, let us continue our adventure. Lucky Kutaro, suckered into stealing a set of sorcerer's scissors by the witch and stirring up a tyrant's rage. Now, all his hopes of escaping the castle were dashed, just as he himself dashed like mad to outrun the soldier grubs who wanted his head. Poor Kutaro. His only hopes now were Calibrus and a witch of most questionable character. What cruel tricks would fate play on him next? Pussy footy wussy cat, where were you? I ought to fudge! Wrong is it can't be! Did you forget you sent us off in the first place? Yes, Calibrus chose him. Finally! Those legendary shears will cut right through the moon bear king's lackeys and set the moon realm free! Now, my brave young warrior, why don't you let Granny hold on to those for you? Right now, you wooden dogs! <laughs> what was that for? Don't you tell me I'm not your time! Gotcha! To command Calibrus, you need either a heart as pure as the goddesses, or pernicious magic like the Grizz. But all you've got is an attitude. Keep Calabras, I you'll take good care of it for me. I smell him. That's the punch and stink of a scissor thief. Oh, General Tiger, sir. How kind of you to drop by to check on Beasley old me. Oh, I just don't know anything about this to see, but if I see him, you'll be the first and last to know. And this egregiously foul odor must be witch stick. You are certain he's not here? Oh, yes, very certain, your antagonist. I beg you, bring that scoundrel to justice, or I may not sleep a week tonight. Ah, don't worry. My grubs will have this whole castle locked down in no time. anyone crashing the prison towers and making off with the knight's powers, now can we? Do you hear that, dear? Then get your hidey in gear! The tiger's tongue had slipped. Whatever powers this knight had, they were clearly important. didn't come with stairs. 
Clinging to the slippery stones instead were giant living vines imbued with dark magic. Snipping, cutting, slicing through the vines with Calibrus, Kutaro scrambled up and up. Onward he must climb. As you may have noticed, there was a reason the Moon Witch framed Kutaro for stealing the scissors. The moment she marched him off to the throne room, she had already concocted a plan to take Calibris for herself. I think you might. Do I need to clear the rest of the... What are you waiting for? I did all the dirty work. Despite himself, Kutaro was growing excited. What kind of awesome power could this knight in the towers have anyway? Keep a tough spot? All right, I'll help. Just don't push your luck. I'm a flying cat, not a sidekick. could still cut her own scissors. Hmm. We'll have to muse these for stairs. Just cut along the seam. Hmm. Impressive. Calibus. 
Not even the steepest tower walls could stop Kudera. Kudera sliced his way through flags, vines, anything he could sink those scissors into. Not everyone took it sitting down when the Moon Bear King rose to power. Many tried to oust the tower and bring back the goddess. One or two of them even survived. But the goddess's mightiest champions all fell, and their powers were locked away in secret well-guarded places. Now, where do you suppose the knight's powers are hiding? Our top security was tight. The Weaver patrolled the smoke-ridden sky, swooping and slicing at anything that moves. These towers not only defended the castle walls when the Moon Bear King rebelled against the Goddess, but during the ferocious final fight, they also went on the attack. The tyrant later converted the towering spires to a prison, which with a bounding imagination he dubbed the Prison Towers. <laughs> the crushed forces of the Moon Goddess were detained in His Majesty's pleasure to starve, rot, and generally suffer. Only their armor remained to tell their terrible tale.
Gorging on the power in its Lord's dark seal, the Weaver stretched to preposterous proportions. Kutaro knew he had to swallow his fear, step forward, and keep his head. Well, well, looks like the pawn has become a knight. Why do all your problems seem to come in extra large? Stitches. A snip or two should. Looks like you found a chink in the armor. I bet you can cut through. See? I told you so. <laughs> Just the oil. Leave this to me. Yours truly. Souls free. That's it. Well done. After the formidable adversary was vanquished, an old and scratched up shield appeared before Kutaro. Could this be the power he sought? Ah! 
Quickly, you fool! He's going to find the knight's shield! How could he possibly know it was in there? Stop him! If Kukuro makes off with the shield, or the Sun Princess, mark my growl. Now, rip that bit of moonstone right out of your mouth! Oh, when I find that idiot who blabbed about the night in front of... With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. Kutaro had spied an old shield in the prison tower. And so the story continues. Uh, you'll recall that even after the Moon Goddess was defeated and her legion was put to rout, her loyal subjects tried to resist. Four champions, ever faithful, rose to their mistress's cause. Over a period of weeks, they concocted an elaborate plan to lead a pathetically small but equally valiant army against the Moonbear King's castle, Grizzlestein. Did it work? Well... Onward, ye knaves! The bear shall pay the price for his crimes! They were hopelessly outnumbered, but so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. You fight well, dare I say, skillfully. But alas, <laughs> that shield will not protect you from me! Power! And that was the end of that revolt. The Moonbear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. This shield was a special one indeed, for within it still dwelled the power of the Moon Goddess's knight, he whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, poor knight, I knew him, Kutaro.